Thank you. Thank you, and look at what we brought. We brought the weather, we brought the uh, dark cloud. That's a beautiful airplane. I can remember that in 1975, I started taking lessons here. Don't ask me how old I am. So there was no one here. We had oh, quite a few single engine airplanes, 365 of them. I remember the first time I landed here. Uh, when I was doing my practicing, and uh, the uh, I was told to go to the back 40 and park my airplane. And I'm thinking the back 40, what it was, you know, where's that? So I drove around for a while and I got better instructions. So you know, this airport is amazing to me. I saw it when it was virtually a small airport with small things happening, and I watched the. Uh, FBOs come in and do what you see being done today. But you know, flying is an interesting business for me. It's not a business, it's a hobby. And I first learned a couple very important things. And one of them was that airline pilots uh, think they were God. And God said he didn't know how to fly. So there was an issue with my neighbor on the third floor. He said, what are you doing? I said, well, I'm taking pilot lessons. He said, well, what's the most important thing about uh, flying? I said, well, I'll keep the ground lower than the uh, sky. And the next day he jumped out of, the air, out of his third floor window. It wasn't really funny, but it happened. So you, you see a lot of things, you do a lot of things, but you don't see. And I've been to many airports, small, large, in between. This is the most affluent process that has happened here and happened because of people like we see standing out there today. The guys that do the job. There are thinkers, and there's a lot of thinkers in this business, but there are doers, and the doers have to get it done. And we've got a lot of doers here. All the FBOs are doing fine, and uh, it will continue that way. So I'm really proud to be part of this uh, process. And uh, uh, President Parker said the right thing. We are neighbors, we are friends, we're co-owners of this airport, and we think that way. It's not an independent thought process. It's done by uh, situations like when I have a, a worry or a problem, which I don't have many from the airport, but in general, I call President Parker. I said, what would you do in this situation? So. If you look around here, uh, to me it's just an amazing thing every time I come here. I served on the board. I saw the FBOs coming in. I've, see, I've seen what I see today. And every time I'm just amazed as to what people get done here. So thank you for doing what you do. And uh, we have a board. We have three members on, on the board as directors. And uh, they do well. I said uh, not too long ago, we've got two airport people here, Jamie Abbott and Mike Kern. But you know, you don't hear much from them. They're not talkers, they're not braggers, they're not loud people. But you know what, they get the job done and do a great job and I'm so pleased that they run this, this air, their section of the airport. So thank you for coming, keep coming. Keep watching. This is uh, a place to be, and I'm glad you're all here today. Uh, my people are here from uh, Prospect Heights. Uh, I've got uh, Assistant uh, Director Falcone and uh, a couple of others, and they also ask me questions about flying. I said, I don't know. I fly Centauria, fly upside down. They didn't want to go with me. so. Uh, it's been good for me, it's been good for you, and it's been great for the two cities. So thank you again.
Thank you.